Sasuke, Sasuke, Sasuke. This bipolar little Uchiha child. Okay, the world is saved. Kage is dealt with. The tail beasts are free and happy. Everything's good in the ninja world. Like the entirety of the ninja world is literally just banded together for this war. And Sasuke wants to fuck shit up. He wants to fuck shit up. Although in his mind, he's helping. I'm not going to spoil anything. He's going to explain what his definition of Hokage is next episode. But leave it to Sasuke to try to fuck some shit up when everything is already supposedly peaceful. What's going on guys? This is JB the Chiha. I apologize for the awkward lighting. In the last video I recorded, the lighting was so good because I'm recording like right in front of a window. It's like right behind the camera. And it was daytime then, so I got the, the natural lighting of the sun. But now it's like 3 o'clock in the morning, so it's dark as fuck. And I'm using this lamp that's just like right here. So it's shining half my face. And it's not the most professional lighting, but I'm not the most professional guy. But in other news, after Saturday, I should be back to uploading regularly. That's when I'm getting Wi-Fi and getting some last little things done to my apartment that's going to allow me to have way more free time. But anyway, on to this episode. I love how Hagoromo was like, well, you two are about to fight. I gotta go. There's not shit I can do now. It's just funny to see the Sage of Six Paths, like this legendary badass ninja that we've been told of since forever ago like well there's nothing i can do you guys gotta handle it yourself i mean he should just be able to bitch slap sasuke into oblivion but granted he has used a lot of chakra he's not even supposed to be here right now he gave naruto and sasuke his power you know he pretty much summoned them back from that dimension that kaguya had them in and all the beasts and everything so he's used up quite a bit of chakra for a dead guy you know i have to give him that but i mean still it's just funny to see how Sasuke is like, well, I'm going to pretty much take over the world and I'm going to be this Hokage or whatever the fuck Sasuke is talking about, this revolution. And he's just like, well, there's nothing I can do. I got to go. It's just funny to see that. And this episode marks the history. It's been done before, but never as beautifully and as pitiful as this. Sakura admitting how useless she is. I mean, I love the Hitokage. Listen very closely. I love how she says, Sasuke, I cannot trade blows with you, so I just have to sit here and cry like a bitch. I was like, finally realizing your worth, Sakura. Let me stop because I really don't hate Sakura. It's just fun to hate on her for internet reasons and Hitokage reasons. But anyway, that Genjutsu uh, thing in the manga, I think the chapter ended right there and it didn't look like translucent, like you couldn't see through Sasuke, there was no color. So it really looked like Sasuke like actually Chidori'd her through her tit like I was like damn it wasn't as impactful or as shocking as it was in anime because it was obvious like right off the bat that it was a genjutsu so but anyway I kind of wish it really was Sasuke's hand but anyway enough of the Sakura thing Naruto and Sasuke's final fight is about to begin and I love I love 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 when Sasuke was talking about how he's going to kill the Kage and when he uh, put all the tail beasts in separate planetary devastations. I'll get to that in a second, by the way, because that's amazing. Naruto was like, <sighs> can't believe I have to whip your ass, man. We're fucking done with this shit. We, we, we're done. We saved the world. The war is over. We've been blessed by the ninja god himself. We are the next ninja Jesuses. And you want to start this shit. That exhale that Naruto gave was everything. It's like, Finally time to settle shit. I love that. I don't know what it is about that. It did that to me in Ninja Storm 4, and it did that to me in the anime. Like, that's one of my favorite parts at the beginning of this fight, man. The setup of this fight is just pretty dope in my opinion. And with Sasuke glancing at all the beasts, at all nine of them, you know, all of them are in their full forms besides Kurama because, you know, Kurama still has his other half inside of Naruto or whatever. It's still impressive to see him immobilize all nine beasts granted think about how powerful these beasts are how badass they've been shown throughout this series and sasuke just rendered them immobile like that like on some moderate shit and then that catastrophic planetary devastation i believe it was called just put them all in big rock balls like that i mean without even breaking a sweat with just glancing this guy visual prowess is off the chart so just imagine just fucking imagine this final fight that's about to be animated and i believe i read that we're going on a two week break of naruto shippuden we're not getting it getting the next episode until september 
29th and in the preview to the next episode it looks kind of strange it looks i think it's all in black and white i don't think the real episode is going to be like that i think it's like a placeholder while they get the animation together since it's going to be a two-week wait hopefully and i think we're getting an hour special so we might actually get the whole entire full final fight of naruto versus sasuke unless they fill up most of that hour with fucking flashbacks or whatever but the black and white thing it's kind of cool it kind of shows intensity like shit is really about to get real but i really hope the whole hour special isn't just black and white that would be kind of weak but if like at the beginning of the fight it is black and white and then when they finally clash when they jump off the heads of Hashirama and Madara and Clash, everything goes to color. That would be dope as fuck. I just cannot wait to see how this is actually going to be animated, how the fight is going to be handled, because in the manga, and especially in Storm 4, it was fucking epic. But of course, Storm 4 left out a few things, so uh, I can't wait to see exactly what's going to happen in the manga. And Sasuke, man, I understand his reasoning a lot more than anime only watchers if there are even still anime only watchers of Naruto anymore because he explains why he's doing this in the next episode so you guys have to wait till like the 29th or whenever the hell it is but Sasuke he has problems but he's on to something he's like one of the bad guys who means well but it's doing it in a fucked up way and I love how he says he's gonna get rid of the Kage, the beast, because they're the, the cause of all this shit. Like, there would have been no war, there would have been none of this bullshit if there weren't any of the past Kage's mishaps and the beast, and how he says all of the tail beast chakra are inside of Naruto, so he has to get rid of him too. And, I mean, what, what does he expect to go after this? Like, if he does kill Naruto, the Hokage, or well, all, the, all the Kage's and the beast what he's gonna be hated by everyone but actually i'm pretty sure that's what he wants but i'm entering spoiler territory i'm not going to go into that but i also love the part when kurama was like uh uh eight tails what are you going to do are you going to go back to your jinchiriki like he wanted another tail beast to say they're going back to their jinchiriki just so he can feel okay with his decision to stay with naruto although hagoromo was like Hey, you stay inside this boy right here. He was, he, you could tell that he really wanted to be with Naruto. So just imagine, like, I think this entire series, he's had half of Kurama in him. Naruto has. So if he gets both halves, just imagine how fucking OP Naruto would be. I mean, his Biju mode and his newfound six pads mode is epic with the help of Kurama. Now he has all the chakra of all the tail beasts. Now he's going to have the other half of Kurama? What? He's going to be like the next 10 tails Jin Chiriki, although he doesn't have the full tail beasts of, you know, all the beasts. He has their chakra or whatever. So, of course, Sasuke says, hey, Naruto, let's end this shit. You know where to meet. And then right then and there, like even in the manga when he said that, I knew they were going to the final, the final valley. And I love how they jump on top of the respected heads of their, you know, the previous Ashura and Indra reincarnates or whatever. And I love how Naruto says, this is not going to end the way that your son's battle ended. I'm going to stop this shit right now. The siblings squabbling ends today, goddammit. That exhale, that serious look on Naruto. Shit's about to go down. And, man, just how Naruto said, this place brings back memories, doesn't it, Sasuke? I got nostalgia. I really want to go back and watch the part one Naruto fight before entering, uh, you know, this final fight. Although we have two weeks to do so because we're getting a break. Of course, they would give us a break right before the final fight of Naruto Shippuden. I mean, <laughs> but I'm really hyped to see what this animation is going to be like. And, like... The end of Naruto is closer than we all would have expected, especially since the, the next episode, it says it's going to be a one-hour special. That could easily take up the entire Naruto vs. Sasuke fight if they stay away from, you know, like, flashback and throwing in filler parts or whatnot. So, actually, this show can end in, like, two or three episodes, but I believe I read somewhere after the Naruto vs. Sasuke fight, there's going to be a filler of what happened between chapter 699 and 700 so we might have a long ass time of naruto still but yeah tell me what you guys thought about this episode what do you think sasuke's motives are if you don't already know if you haven't read the manga i'm pretty sure everyone knows everyone's played storm 4 by now everyone's read the manga or had a friend who told them what the hell sasuke's bipolar rant is about or whatever so tell me what you guys thought 
Thumbs up for Sakura getting impaled by Sasuke, even though it should have been real. Thumbs up for this final fight. This thumbs up for Naruto having to whoop some more ass on his birthday. I mean, what a birthday. His father left again, and he has all his friends around him. He thinks everything's good, and then his best friend just pulls his shit. I mean, uh, happy birthday, Naruto. You deserve it, man. But anyway, this has been JB Dutch. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.